Hey, um, all right, I'll show you a few more. I enjoyed making that last video, so I thought I'd um, show you about six more records I picked up recently, starting with, um, we hear it in the background, funky, soul, jazz, reggae from uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Fat Freddy's Drop, um, live, a live set at the Matterhorn recorded in March 2001. Um, the Man Horn is one of my favourite barns at uh, barns, <laughs> bars in uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, really cool. Um, this guy's been around forever in the New Zealand scene. Um, yeah, this is an amazing recording. Two LP set, um, a track over each side. Sounds fantastic. Really nice summer grooves. Um, funky, jazz, reggae. It's all there. Um, killer record. Fat Freddy's Drop Live at the Matterhorn. Yeah, yeah. I, dig, I dig this record. It's great for um, summer, which is starting to appear. Um, it's been really nice weather this weekend. It almost feels like um, summer's on the way, you know. So, yeah, feeling very optimistic. Smiles all around. Um, pick this one up at the record fair um, with Fred and Anthony. You guys might have seen some videos a few weeks back. Um, wedding present. George Best. Um, this album is um, recorded in from uh, Leeds in Yorkshire. Um, a few of you might know him from Bradford, which is uh, very, very well. I was born there, so very close by. Um, and um, being a football, soccer fan, um, I had to grab it. Amazing, amazing guitar sound on this on this record. Um, very sort of yobbish Yorkshire vocals, um, but yeah, the guitar playing is killer. Great recording um, on Reception Records in uh, Leeds. Um, yeah, sort of, it's really hard to describe, sort of like the indie rock jangle. It's also, it does remind me a lot of the New Zealand stuff, actually, funnily enough. Um, there's George. I'll show you guys the label. I think this was late 80s. Yeah, 87. Very cool. Um, check it out. I know I know Ben Costello is a big fan of the wedding present, and um, Sonic Mainliner as well. Um, Sonic Mainliner showed the second record the one after this in a video, a couple of videos ago. Uh, show I'll show this one. Then we'll get into some jazz. Um, this is uh, Nelsh by Belter Space. Oh, there we go. Um, the Flying Nun label, this is one of their early EPs. Um, Belt of Space, sort of half members of what were the Gordons. Um, instead of instead of hitting that jangly sound, they went more for noise and experimentation. And um, I think they ended up getting signed to uh, Matador, Matador label, went over to New York, and they've been living there ever since. Um, this is their first, one of their first, I think it's their first EP. Uh, it has sort of like, it sort of ranges between like, New Wave, Post Punk, and like early proto shoegaze stuff. Um, really cool. Um, you get to see some glimpses of the later later classic um, noise stuff. Sorry, I'm just looking for a year. So this was eight, 87. So yeah, there's some definitely uh, proto shoegaze sounding stuff on here. Washing guitars with uh, vocals drifting through, stuff like that. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Um, Underrated band, really. Uh, Belt of Space, that's Nelsh. Alright, jazz. Well, actually, no, this isn't jazz. Um, so, you guys uh, who are on some of the Facebook pages would have seen Anthony bought a copy of um, Occasional Rain by Terry Callier um, off Darcy Hayden. Um, I did a bit of a deal with Anthony and bought that copy off him because I, I really wanted this record. Um, more so than Anthony wanted it, so I got this from Anthony yesterday. I'm super happy to have it. Um, I think it's a fantastic record. Um, blue soul folk. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, so much emotion in this. Um, 
the track Ordinary Joe is a really fantastic, uh, uplifting song. Yeah, killer. I'm super. This is a Japanese pressing from '95. Stone cold mint condition. So thank you, Anthony, and thank you, Darcy. Um, amazing. So happy. Uh, two more. Um, Revelation, Duck Khan. Um, not much to say. If you know Duck Khan, um, jet, soul jazz with sort of almost gospel y vocals over the top. Um, my first actual original uh, black jazz. Um, I've got one that's sort of a, a weird reissued bootleg and one that's like a Japanese press. So this is my first original US pressing. Um, there you go. Score. Um, and then the last one, Island Bush Music by the Gary Bartz um, and the NTU Troop, Island Bush Music, Taifa. Killer. This is so good. I This is like above and beyond expectations. So funky. So it is sort of urban. So a hard way to describe it. Um, yeah, killer. Really cool. Um, I got this for next to nothing. This was like $10, which for Australia is a huge score. I think because of this whole thing. I'm getting a lot of records these days with like weird water damage on them. Um, yeah, Sublime record. Um, who we got in here? Gary Bartz. Where's the list? Andy Bay is on here and Judy Booth and Harold White. So yeah, killer, killer record. Um, Typer. So that's the end. Um, and keep this under 10 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Um, I just let it ride out to, the, to this record. Um, really cool, as you can hear. Sort of dubby sounds happening. Very cool. Thanks for watching. I don't know. I haven't got a tagline yet. Um, I should really work on that. Um, hope you're, I don't know. I've got nothing. <laughs> uh, see you guys later, VC. Thanks.